Today I would like to show you how to do fitting and removal of the solder jumpers commonly found on this tune boards. As you can see they are quite small. I like to use a reasonable size chisel tip um, on my soldering iron. You can see all the jumpers on this board are removed at the moment. So uh, I'll fit them first. First thing is clean your tip. So I always use a sponge just lightly dampened so you start off with a nice clean tip so go in and that's about the size of it um, just make sure there's enough solder there that's the main thing once you've done a couple you find that you have a little bit of uh, solder sitting on the back of your tip that's mostly what is going to make the jumper work as you can see that's reasonably easy I always like to add a bit of extra solder if you don't do that when you pull it away sometimes you'll find that uh, that sort of thing happens um, sometimes the jumper won't actually go across the pads other times you'll end up with a nasty little um, tip like that that'll get caught up on things so just a bit of solder will give you a nice nice rounded jumper okay to remove them once again clean your tip and go in. Now the strange part about this is I do actually add a little bit of solder. I don't need the extra solder, I need the flux which is in the core of the solder. That flux, as you can see, will allow us to remove it nice and clean and the remaining pads are, uh, have a nice rounded amount of solder on. There's nothing dragged away from it um, and there's no rubbish on it. Uh, the difference between fitting and removal is you go sideways with your soldering iron. I'll clean the iron again. You tend to have to clean the iron quite often as soon as you see any rubbish on it. Clean it before you go any further or you'll just make trouble for yourself. So I'll just finish off that last one there and they're all taken off. Now you can see there's quite a lot of flux starting to build up there now. If you get too much flux built up, when you're trying to fit the jumpers, you'll find that the solder won't bridge between them. The flux will stop it from doing that. So in that case, grab your cotton bud and your acetone and give it a good clean up. Um, I think this is still reasonable. Yeah, I can still fit those okay with this amount of flux. So I'll just fit them again. You can see when I'm fitting, I take the iron away straight up, not dragging it sideways. Try to go as fast as you can. You really should only have to stay on the board for a quarter of a second. If you put too much heat on, eventually the, um, the board will fail and the, uh, the pads will actually fall off the board and it all gets horrible. When you're finished, cotton bud and acetone, clean up all that nasty flux so that you can see what's going on. Particularly when you're removing the jumpers then you can uh, inspect between the pads and make sure that there's no solder there. So I'll remove those again. So we're now going back into program mode clean that up and you can see they clean up nice there's no rubbish in between it only takes a very small sliver of solder and that jumper is effectively fitted um, and that can cause you some problems